Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey from Ripe Color, and this is Nancy from Nancy Jean's Garden, and here's the garden. And we are going to do the daily duo reading for the day for December 5th. Um, so I throw five cards, and Nancy throws five uh, stones in the garden, and we... Mm -hmm. That's our divination method. It's a it's a daily. How do what do we say? Daily duo. Daily I duo. The, I came up with and this expression. We, I never remember it. <laughs> the way we phrase the question is: it's not like a yes no, and you can use a garden to read specific situations. But what we're looking for today is to encompass as many of you as possible. We're looking for the vibrations we need to know about what's going on around the collective. Okay. Right, and we both do uh, private readings. We both have um, other items, physical items for sale on our sites. I, I'm a textile designer. Nancy has uh, gardens and grids, et cetera, eggs, eggs et cetera. Eggs soon. And uh, all the links will be below. And, um, oh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Yes. You already through? Of course. I only have to throw five rocks in a place, you know? <laughs> My fingers are killing me. Dealing, <laughs> dealing out cards. I've dealt, I, I started out as, a, for those who don't know me, I started out as a tarot reader. I started reading cards for fun and at slumber parties when I was 12. And I've been involved one way or another with cards and all the other good stuff for 60 years. And yeah, that's right, 60 guys. That means I'm 72. And, um, this divination tool was, I channeled it through me and it, it was channeled by messengers and they came in the middle of the night, which meant I had kind of crappy sleep for about six months. And uh, we're now learning how to work with it. And Jeffrey's been kind enough to come and read cards with me to kind of explain sort of what I'm looking at. Yes. And so what did you do? What do you see for the day? Okay, so for body, I get the death card, one of my favorite cards. <laughs> Everyone mm -hmm. freaks out about this card. You watch those bad horror movies and they always have this, they always have the bad music, you know? Mm -hmm. Anyway, the death card is actually a fantastic card. It really mm -hmm. says that the things that have died and that are no longer useful can actually be made into mulch to help the garden grow and mm -hmm. move forward. Mm -hmm. That's what the death, it's a complete and utter transformation, transmutation. You know, it's the card of Scorpio. Okay. okay. Then for mind, we have bigger pastures, big, a bigger idea, a mm -hmm. new strategy, creative thinking. You know, maybe I've been thinking too small. Maybe I need to get bigger. Maybe that's what this transformation is about. Then for spirit, I've got a lot of messages lots of messages and messages of change, messages of change. And I think this, the change is really about seeing a bigger picture, seeing something more expansive, more um, inclusive, more beneficial, more um, maybe more lucrative, more mm -hmm. um, balanced. And then for grounding, I get the spiritual quest, which is to me, this is a great card. So, you know, <clears throat> You could read. You could actually read this card as they're leaving, or they're going toward. And I think the answer is yes. Yeah. Pick one. <laughs> I always see this as both. I always see like, okay, so what you've had in the past was satisfying, but you want more. You want more. So this is really like it's almost like a self-esteem e kind of mm -hmm. reading. It's sort of like, yeah, well, I have all this and all that, but you know what? My mind and my body and my spirit needs to expand further. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to go out and get it. Right. I'm going to go out and get it. That's, that's how I always feel about this card. Mm -hmm. And then we end with the wealth card. Well, you know, fabulous. Yay. <laughs> and this is also, um, this could be, um, this could also sometimes symbolize um, like a company mm -hmm. or uh, a dynasty or like an intergenerational mm -hmm. um, element to it. So this is a very uh, profound card. And it's really about, you know, even though the tens are about completion, the tens are like the, the like attainment of the attainment attainment. It's, it's culmination. It's yeah, all those layers. Together. <laughs> I'm a wordsmith. You're a wordsmith. Anyway, that's what I have. Okay. 
Well, we kind of vary a little bit today more than we usually do. Um, I'm starting off with the uh, pyrite um, fool's gold being in the solar plexus and it says uh, it's there to burn out self doubts and blocking you from your own power. And then we get once again, I've gotten this the mental stone, I think there's a lot of people that are two minds about things. They're like, yeah, this is really going better than I thought, but boy, I don't trust it. I think mm. there's a lot of ancestral pullback and want to rethink and want to weed out what works and what doesn't. But what's really going on, I think, is in the body because it's in the present and in third eye. And in the present, the body means at this time this is really what you need to do and the third eye says insights you need to express you need to actually go out and do it you can't just sit around and think about this stuff you have to actually go do it mm -hmm. now's the time to move and make actualized things so then we get to clarity and spirit and they are both located in air and air in the four elements the four elemental things is 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 when things are moving swiftly and there's clarification that happens in the air and right now in the air the spirit's still transforming things so it's not done enough yet to know exactly where to do and so um the clarity is there balancing it with saying are your thoughts clear so these two are pulling this one out of its funk mm -hmm. because your basic energy source in your body is saying, we need to get rid of this old stuff and bring in new. So how about we do, um, we both do a one and done on this. It's a okay. get real, right? Right. I'm going to put my cards back. And what, what are we doing one undone on exactly? Which part of the energy? I think the... Um, the body because the body was okay. the, the death card which is probably the most important part that i threw mm -hmm. right right body exact ended up exactly in the middle of the four elements which means what? exactly in that crossroads and that is ground your thoughts embody your past physical changes are coming and you can help yourself by grounding your energy Well, I think yours makes more sense because mine is a little bit illusory. <laughs> that could be an illusion too. Uh, no, it really that's, and I can't tell you guys, I've been throwing this for a while. Um, a week or so ago, I got all five stones in one spot, which is just like, it's really hard to jam them in there. And then this one, when they hit an exact crossroads, there's some places that this one is a neck, what I call nexus and a nexus and a nexus. When they hit in a nexus, it means, listen to this. This is what's going on. So if I got put out all five stones and I had one that was in the nexus, I'd pay more attention to it than the other stones. Right. So that's why I'm saying what I'm saying. I think, I think our, what's amazing to me is a lot of times I get the mind stone is the thing that's moving people forward. Right now I get, right. there's a lot of people pulling off and living in the past. Right. Right. So, you know, it's interesting because we initially we had the deaths, right? So the death is this complete transformation. And then mm -hmm. the, I mean, the other way to read this card mm -hmm. is really to have confidence in your dreams, have confidence in mm -hmm. your vision. Right. right. So I feel like today, because we're going, it's a transformative thing. It's sort of like the choices are all yours. Mm hmm. The choices are all yours, where you want to like grow, what you want to let go of, where you want to, you know, move forward into what you'd like to transform. I think the choices are all yours. So, you know, sometimes it's a little bit confusing when you, you know, you go to a store and they have so many fantastic things to buy. Right. <laughs> well, it plus, you know, um, in, in the mind, when you're dealing with the mind, and it's in certain areas here that say let go of limitations. Um, that's also means don't ignore your dreams. Because I think too many times right. we walk past the seven of cups and write it off as illusion, delusion. 
Right. I think is the wrong way to say it because, right. you know, some of our best and most creative things seem delusional at the time, like the garden. Uh <laughs> <laughs> right. I, look, I, look I, you know, daydreaming is, is a very valuable, valuable thing to do. Mm -hmm. A very valuable thing to do. And I think that's what also the eight, the eight of cups was before. It's sort of like, well, you know, my life is good and I'm kind of satisfied, but I want more. And mm -hmm. um, I'm not really quite sure what that more is, but, you know, sit and, and think about it. The other thing, you know, to do on a day like that, every, that everything is sort of up in the air in a way, mm -hmm. In the, in the middle of transformation is, you know, talk to your angels and guides and say, what action can I take that's for my highest good and highest healing? That's right. And see what comes through. You know, maybe it'll tell you, well, maybe you need to take a trip. Maybe you need to look at your job. Maybe you need to call a friend. Maybe, mm -hmm. you know, so I think. Yeah, and when the balls are all up in the air, sometimes it's, we make the mistake of thinking, we can decide where they're going to land. Sometimes you just right. need to let them land and then see. And then make a decision. And then see what you, how, what, what's out there that you can really work with. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm happy with that. You want to pull a card or anything? I could. I'll pull a crystal card. I pulled this again. Oh. I pulled this I pulled the fairy stone, which is, it's kind of a volcanic stone. It kind of comes up and it gloops up and it looks like, it doesn't look much like anything, but it looks actually, like marshmallow. yeah, it does look like marshmallow or, or, or whipped cream that's, but um, it really means fertility. So I think what it's saying is that doesn't look like much, but if you give it a shot, it's going to turn into something great. So maybe on the days that are kind of like this, you're confused. Do I want to go back where I was? You know, you're getting this feeling to move forward. Wait until it, if you come to fruition in your own energy. Yeah. Yeah. Let it reveal itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Blessings. Take care. Bye-bye.